What is going on, Comfy Gang? It's your boy, Comfy Neat. And today I just wanted to continue, um, I guess, last um, the last video where I talked about me wanting to delete social media. And this one's kind of a, you know, I guess offshoot of that, or I don't know what the right term is, but um, I'm gonna be talking about why I'm so afraid or why I, I never posted anything in social media. Like in my Instagram and Facebook combined, I probably only had like 10 photos at maximum, which is I guess kind of weird because most people upload a photo at least like once a week, probably more if they're an active user. And they typically show things like, um, I don't know, you know, them hanging out with their friends and stuff and um, everything. But um, I never really uploaded anything except maybe at the start when I made the account. And the reason for this is, uh, well, probably mostly because of my social anxiety. Um, I think, if anything, this video kind of gives me, not me, gives you guys a window into one of my biggest flaws as a person, which is my social anxiety and my fear of I guess being vulnerable to people and you know just caring way too much about other people's judgments because um, fundamentally I would tell myself that you know I wasn't ready to this, this is gonna sound so stupid but I'd always tell myself that you know I'm gonna wait for the perfect time you know because you know in, on Instagram everybody's putting their best self forward and um, you know you know taking all these perfectly well, not perfectly, but you know, like pretty well taken photos with the right lighting and everything and you know, the, the right filters, but you know, also they're wearing like the perfect clothes and um, whatever, you know, hair is perfect. They know their angles, whatever crap. And you know, I don't really know any, any of that stuff. So I'd always tell myself, um, you know, you know what, I'm gonna wait until um, I you know, until I understand everything, until I have, I, ha I find the right haircut, until I'm, I have a good sense of fashion, until I, um, you know, all these things that I wanted to fix about myself before, you know, I'd be finally ready to put myself out there into the world and, you know, expose myself on Instagram. And when you really think about it, um, it is kind of a way, a reflection of my, I guess, overall insecurities about myself. It's kind of like the same pattern of behavior of or thought that underlies my unwillingness to upload things on Instagram. Also um, is responsible for me, you know, not putting myself out there uh, in the world and not, not uh, you know, meeting people or when I, when I do have to interact with people um, I often end up very closed up and rigid and, um, you know, not very expressive. And I think, you know, it's like, for example, in social interactions where I'm always looking for the right thing to say as, you know, pathetic as that sounds, uh, I think, yeah, it's kind of echoed in my, you know, me telling myself or me constantly waiting, uh, you know, to be perfect, waiting, waiting to be perfect until I put myself out there. And, you know, uh, I guess that might call into my question, call into question my decision to delete, uh, fuck, to delete social media. Um, so I'm shivering cause it's kind of <sighs> fucking cold right now. Um, cause it kind of calls into question my decision to delete social media just because you know, maybe the reason I'm doing it um, is because it's sort of feeding into that compulsion, you know, like me coming back once I've ascended, like maybe the right thing for me to do would actually be to just upload shit to Facebook, upload shit to uh, Instagram, I guess, because, well, you know, that would be me confronting my fear of not being perfect. Um, I mean, it's even like in my music where like I make music, but I don't upload anything because I feel like I still have so much room to improve 
Um, yeah, I guess maybe my, I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a perfectionist, although maybe, maybe I am one and I just am in denial, but cause I don't know. It's not like I'm OCD or anything, but I just feel like I could be so much better. And until I am my ideal self, I don't feel like putting myself out there, but then maybe that in itself is pathological because you know, how else do you become a better person when you're not exposing yourself to real world feed feedback? Like maybe how people get good at taking photos on Instagram is that, um, you know, they, they take a certain photo and you know, it, you know, receives less likes. I'm not saying that you should be chasing after likes, but you know, it kind of does give you decent feedback on maybe, you know, things that you might be doing wrong if you want to, you know, play into the system, play, play the game of whatever, you know, that's another thing I'm conflicted on. Like would doing this be playing to society's, um, you know, I guess expectations and, you know, standards and, and rules, like the unwritten rules of society that are really kind of arbitrary and are just there to make you obsessed about yourself and what other people think about you. But that's why it's kind of like one of those things that you just, you don't really know which is the right course of action. Both courses of action kind of seem inherently wrong and right at the same time. But yeah, uh, I kind of went off on a tangent there, but that's uh, one reason why I don't upload anything on social media. And the other reason is that, well, um, you know, I really don't have a life, uh, at least currently. And it's like, even back when I had like friends, like we really, we really wouldn't do anything interesting. Like in university, um, all my friends would do was like smoke weed and eat ball high and play video games. And um, I guess, with my high school friends who I did the most stuff with, I guess we would do some interesting things like go out clubbing, but it's not like we would do interesting things all the time. And even when we were, even when we were doing interesting things, I would always feel the sense of shame and, you know, be afraid of taking photos of myself. Maybe, I don't know if that's a separate issue or if it ties back into my fear of, you know, I guess my obsessive need for presenting my perfect self to the world. Um, I think now that I put it that way, I guess I might be sort of a narcissist. Um, you know, am I like narcissistic as in NPD, narcissistic personality disorder. I don't know. Maybe I'm narcissistic as far as society makes you narcissistic with social media and all the unrealistic expectations. But are they unrealistic when other people have somehow achieved them? I guess. I don't know. I guess they're not unrealistic in the sense that, you know, of what you could put out there on social media because there definitely are apps that you can use to like make yourself look better. But at the same time, I don't know, I guess it's unrealistic. It does kind of make you feel like ugly, I guess, in real life. And I think for the longest time, my self-esteem was damaged by social media and seeing pictures of other people um, online because, well, you know, seeing the way they looked and the places they were, um, well, it kind of made me feel inferior until I realized that, you know, you know, like 99% of women use this app called face app where they remove all of the blemishes off of their skin. And I'm pretty sure a lot of guys use it as well, at least a lot of influencers on Instagram. So, um, yeah, there's that, but that's another tangent. Um, yeah, I really don't have a life, so.
there's really nothing there for me to take and um yeah wow this is probably pretty disorganized um why else don't i like uploading things um you know it's also that i really don't have many friends maybe you could blame it on the quality of my friends and it's not like i don't know it's like it's not like I had friends that did interesting things apart from like going clubbing. It's not like, well, it's not true. Like my high school friends did purposely go out and like take photos for Instagram, but I don't know. I just never got into it for some reason. Um, and yeah, I think a lot of it's just me also fearing judgment, fearing, um, you know, the possibility that my photo might not get any likes and, you know, just all these stupid things that, you know, I really shouldn't care about. So it kind of leads to the question of, is me deleting social media, um, you know, is me deleting social media the right thing to do or the wrong thing to do because on one hand social media is inherently destructive and does um you know it does cause a lot of insecurity and crap and distraction and everything but at the same time me deleting it is essentially me it's just one more one more uh, way that I'm running away from, you know, the thing that I'm afraid of when I guess the right thing for me to do would be to confront it and upload shit to these social media sites to people that know me because I don't know, but maybe there is, maybe I am right because, you know, it is sort of tantamount like to social suicide if you just upload shit that makes people think you're weird but at the same time maybe that's how i get over my social anxieties that i literally hit rock bottom by making everybody hate me or maybe i'll post shit and realize that you know people aren't as judgmental as i thought they were so um i still haven't deleted it yet i'm still thinking it over i think i might delete facebook first and see how that goes and if i feel okay with that then um I'll delete Instagram and everything else. Not YouTube or Discord, at least for now. Um, I think I intend to keep making videos for a while at least. Um, but yeah, I'm sort of at a cash 22 right now, if that's the correct usage of that um, word or idiom or whatever. Um, anyways, this is kind of a video that was all over the place. Um, I didn't really think this through as usual i guess so anyways this is company signing out make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below if you enjoy this video peace